Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is a custom Tableau workshop. And in today's workshop, I'm going to show you how we can use a parameter to dynamically change what sheets are actually showing on your dashboard. It's a really useful and super simple technique. So I'm going to go to this dashboard that I've already created and I'm going to go to the one of the sheets here. First thing I'm going to do is create a parameter. I'm going to call this display sheet and I'm going to choose the data type as a string and I'm going to produce a list. I'm going to call it all chart one, chart two, chart three. And it doesn't really matter. You actually do, you can call this whatever you want. You call it ABC. You can call it the actual sheet name, which is actually pretty common. And I'm going to press OK here. I'm going to create a calculated field. And the calculated field doesn't actually have to be named anything particular. It just has to contain the parameters. So I'm going to include that. So you'll see here display sheet. And I'm going to leave it as calculated one even though that's not really a good practice to do, but regardless, and I'm going to drop it in the filter section and instead of using select from list or use all, I'm going to be using custom value list. And here I'm going to include all, and I'm going to include one of the other three names that I had listed in my parameters. I'm going to call it chart one. So what this will do, and you, again, you can call it whatever you want is right now when I click all or chart one, it will keep showing the data as long as one, uh, as long as the parameter is contained in the filter on this particular sheet. If you want to close sheet two, no chart chart two or chart three, it doesn't work. And I'm going to add that to my other three charts here pretty quickly. All chart two. Last one. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add the parameter option here. And as long as I click all, it's going to show all three. If I click chart one, it's going to just show the first chart. If I show chart two, it's going to just show the second chart. And if I click chart three, it'll just show the third chart. So it's a really useful technique. And one way to even, even optimize this type of view is what you want to do is put a, say, let's put a vertical box here. And I'm going to drop profit over time. And I'm going to drop this random chart here. So for example, maybe I don't want to show uh, this chart here. So uh, what I need to do is that when I click on chart one, it's not moving over. It's not taking up all the space because it still has this title. But as soon as I hide the title, you'll see here the differences that it makes. Obviously, then you don't have a title. So pros and cons, but a really useful technique uh, to utilize. So utilize your vertical and horizontal boxes. And oftentimes what I do here is I'll have all my charts here. Then at the very bottom, I'll have like the details. So I'll have like kind of like an Excel type view. Just especially if people are only using Tableau Reader to interact with it, they can actually see the data, but they can also choose to not display it. Uh, and it's a really useful technique. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I know there's a few other videos I need to get to, and I will be getting will be getting to them. Some of them are more complicated than others, but uh, be sure to check in next next weekend, and I'll be posting some more videos. Uh, thank you, and don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thank you.